respond in that. Being weird. <laughs> just state your name and affiliate. You can start. Okay, I am Malika Horton with 101. So, what drew you into this project? What I loved about the movie, what about, oh, sorry, what I loved about the screenplay were uh, the themes of uh, ambition and um, legacy, and how how far a person would go to be remembered, and um, and also the unintended consequences of technology, uh, new ideas, and how they could um, uh, lead to. Um, oh God, I can't. Sorry, can I start again? You're with 101, right? Yeah, you're, with, yeah, you're sure. one of us. <laughs> Um, no worries. It's all right. Um, okay. All right. So um, what I loved about the screenplay wasn't so much electricity as, it much, as much as it was this battle between um, ego and humility and, and ambition and, and, and one's concern over uh, our own legacy and, um, and how far a person would go to be remembered. Even though this took place decades ago, it still has a lot of relevance to today. Who would you say are today's great disruptors? I, I mean, obviously, um, Jobs and Gates come to mind, but also I think uh, Bezos and Musk and um, and Branson, I think, are the new ones in their uh, race to the space. I think it would be interesting how that plays out. The film also touches on the idea that there are always unseen repercussions with invention. Can you think of some modern examples? Sure. Uh, um, I mean, I, I think, uh, um, but just with, just like in the film, with the 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 the, um, the light bulb can lead to the electric chair. And, and, and when you think about social media, it's meant to connect us, um, but it also leads to loneliness. And um, so that's uh, one example. What was the most interesting thing that you learned about these geniuses and their inventions? Um, I think George Westinghouse is just George Westinghouse is one of our kind of best kept secrets because he was so he so was not concerned with his own uh, iconography. He didn't like pictures taken of himself. He didn't care if people remembered his name or not. What he cared about was to leave the world a better place. And the fact that he destroyed all his personal papers and diaries upon his death makes him one of the most selfless, kind of benevolent titans of industry uh, that I had ever read about in a time of the robber barons. And to, to, to see that one can still win and do the right thing w was a lesson that, um, that I think all of us could learn from. Okay. And did you know the story of the race to electricity before signing on to do this film? I didn't. Just uh, I, 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 the, the Cliff Notes version of it. I had an interest in Tesla. I, I knew a little of Edison and barely anything about Westinghouse. I knew that we had a microwave oven that had his name on it. But I knew very little about him because you associate Edison with the winner because he was so focused on making sure we never forgot who he was and his association with electric light. Um, so. Um, did I finish that thought? I think yeah. so. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and the wives of both Edison and Westinghouse are portrayed as strong, grounded, and supportive women throughout the film. How much do you think their support contributed to Edison and Westinghouse's success at the time? 100%. I really do think that uh, 100%. I think uh, Mary Edison was um, Thomas Edison's moral compass, and I think when she's gone, I think he's, he, he will spiral out of control and go into the dark side to win without having someone that will bring him back to center and, and press reset um, and remind him of um, kind of the priorities of life and family. And, and Mary, uh, I'm sorry, and then Marguerite Westinghouse was always um, thought of as George Westinghouse's partner. And she was treated as an equal by him and by many of his men at, at Wabco. All right, well, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. Thank Sorry you I screwed much. up the first few. Oh.